I'm Jason Weiner, and I am the director of the movie as well as a producer. And why did you sign on to direct this movie? Um, I didn't exactly sign on to direct this movie as much as develop it and put my whole life into making it happen. Um, I, uh, uh, the idea was originally brought to me by uh, Mike Falbo, who's one of the producers, and uh, he had heard this piece on This American Life. Um, a radio show, um, and on it, uh, he had heard this story about a disorder called cataplexy, and thought it could make an interesting movie for a whole number of reasons that I bet we're going to talk about. Um, anyway, Mike Falbo brought me this story, and uh, together we set about finding the right writer to write it, and, and we found Max, who had an amazing take on it. Together with him, I worked on the story. And then Max went off and wrote the script. What about the concept drew you into it? Um, there have been so many romantic comedies over the years. And to be honest, I think there was a moment there where the genre almost burned itself out. Because there's only so many ways to keep a couple apart. When I heard the concept of the This American Life piece, the, which was based on a very real thing, uh, there's a man with a disorder that makes him pass out when he's happy. I thought, like, that's a completely unique obstacle to love. And that's a reason to tell a story because we've seen lots of stories about people falling in love and uh, lots of ways to keep them apart, but I've never seen this one. Did you know anything? I, I didn't know anything about cataplexy before I had heard before I heard the This American Life piece. Um, so, what techniques did you use to handle a delicate topic such as cataplexy in an empathetic and hilarious way? <laughs> so, the movie is about a man with cataplexy. And cataplexy is a is a disorder like narcolepsy. Uh, except that it's caused by extreme emotions. So basically, if you have cataplexy and you experience extreme happiness or anger, you pass out. Um, it's sad, honestly. Uh, but there's also opportunities for humor. You could see, and it's true, that people with this disorder develop unique coping mechanisms and that creates a really interesting and specific character. And when you have an interesting and specific character, there's opportunities for humor. We just wanted to make sure that this film was the proper combination of happiness and sadness, frankly, uh, in, the, in the measures that, that are equal to somebody dealing with this disorder. And then, so what is the, in a few lines, like what is the story about? Right. Um, this is a story about a man who manages his emotions in every possible way. He can't get too high or too low, too happy, too sad. And into his life comes this incredible, remarkable, passionate, loud woman, Francesca. And she challenges everything, the whole status quo of his existence. And that's what this, this story is about, is can, can he handle it? Can he go for it? After years of avoiding happiness and avoiding love, will he go for it now? Yeah, and would, like, expand a little bit on the, like, what are the most potent themes in the movie? Yeah. Um, I think, you know, while, while this movie is about a man with a really specific disorder that, frankly, most people probably haven't heard of, even though it's a real thing, um, I think it's kind of universally relatable because in Charlie's Disorder, which is about avoiding happiness and avoiding extreme emotions, I think we, we get to see what we all do when it comes to love, which is run away from it. You know, we all, we all uh, when faced with perhaps the thing that might change our life, we get scared at first. Our first reaction is fear. So I, I think that, that, that Charlie's Disorder, while really unique, is actually a metaphor for how we all deal with happiness, which is to run away from it sometimes. Absolutely. Um, 